Hey y'all, this is Kick Haters. Um, I know I look crazy right now, but I am actually about to, to do a tutorial on how I actually do my fro hog. Um, I actually have a picture from when I did it two weeks ago. Um, right now, I got a section off right here with my clips. Um, I'm going to section off again. I actually am a stickler when it comes to... Um, my my parts my parts have to be straight I don't know what it is but I like my parts straight um, I have a paddle brush because I'm actually not at home so I grab what I can fit in my little my boot bag and I got my egg home I got this right here that I showed y'all in the last in another video um, Brush this out. My scalp is dry because yesterday I washed it, and all I have in it is leave in conditioner. I actually, I didn't wash it, I co washed it, and then I two strand twisted big ones so it could dry overnight. And I wrapped it up in one bed, and it was still actually kind of wet up top this morning. So, so I'm gonna just have an afro for most of the day because I'm not doing anything. This is pretty much how I moisturize. I can't just let it be in and I put it on both forefinger and my thumb. Then I put it, I kind of dab it, dab it, dab it, and then I rub it in. This is pretty much my go-to style since I haven't figured out anything else to do with my hair and it's, it's getting kind of boring so and I'm not really a big fan of just having two strand twist all over because my hair not long enough to do the styles I want to do with two strand twists because the only two strand twist style that I usually do I twist it then it'll be kind of up on each side and then the back is out where the twist down or either half down half up and I got a piece of hair just kind of sticking up in there that's I'm not really feeling two strand twist a whole lot. Then I get some more. It's not a whole lot, so I can put it on my ends, rub it together. Just rub it in. I know. It's a lot of rubbing in. I know. <laughs> I actually did part it. It's going to be a little bit difficult because I'm so used to being in my house and doing it. See, I do flat twist on the sides. And now I've actually only do two on this side and like four on this side. Then I flat uh, two straight twists the rest of it. Um, trying not to pull my hair so much. I learned how to do this by trial and error. I know one day I just sat down after watching the YouTube video and just did it. I was like, oh, I know how to do it. Huh? <laughs> and I am not professing to be any kind of hair guru whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, probably can't even see how I'm doing it. It's kind of close up a little bit. And my hair has actually grown since I've started doing protective styles. Um, I think June is when I first started doing it, 2010. I twist it in, and that's pretty much it. And just took it since so long, I just kind of let it go and took it behind my ear. Well, actually, behind my ear. <laughs> but I'm actually going to probably do this one over because it's not close enough to my head. See how far this on my hair? My head. Yeah. So, and I'm 
actually probably going to come back with you guys and show you when I start doing the other side.